I this is a little video about groups. Used to be really powerful. Got kind of cut off at the kneecaps, as I say, by Microsoft. But they're still really useful for certain things. Not as powerful as they used to be. But here's a good little tip. Perhaps you don't want to connect someone, but you like to send them a message. Well, you can do it in groups. Go and look at their profile. Scroll down the bottom, look at the interests, go into the groups and see which groups they're members of. If you're a joint member, great. If not, you can obviously join the group as well. Go in, and when you go into that group, you have the option to click on and look at all members. It will list all the people. Find the person that you want, and there's a button next to it which says message. Yes, you can message the person directly from within the group. So you don't have to connect. You can just message them. I think this is really useful. Another good reason that groups should be used far more regularly than they actually are. And there are other reasons you should do groups, but I shall do that on a separate video soon. So go into groups, message those people that you're interested in communicating with.